Hello guys. I am currently attending the Fluid Art Boutique in beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. The weather is gorgeous. Could not ask for better conditions. And I just wanted to show you a few pictures from behind the scenes. We spent all day Friday uh, getting ready for the event, setting up. And if you've never been to one of these events, um, it is a lot of work to get everyone set up. There's a lot of boxes, materials, supplies, canvases, uh, art, and all of it's got to be unpacked, put away. We've got to put down protective measures for the venue. Um, it is a non-stop process the entire first day before the event. But these people were so amazing in just knowing what they needed to do, getting it done, and such teamwork and camaraderie that uh, it made the exhaustion at the end of the day so worth it. So I just wanted to share some of these pictures. Um, the rooms were set up beautifully. Everybody is ready. Uh, I know that we've seen several students um, out and about and everybody is so excited to get this thing going and so am I. So if you weren't able to attend, I hope you're able to attend one of these events in the near future. It is so worth it. It's amazing to meet uh, the artists and I know truly they enjoy meeting you too. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you have had a wonderful time watching Lance and Sheldon before me. We always enjoy bringing you our perspectives on pouring, showing you our different styles and techniques. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comments and be sure to read my description. I always have my colors, pouring medium and instructions listed there.
So I did this video to show you how you can use prism pour in a regular pour. Um, you don't have to use color art products just for blooms. They can be used in just about any pour you want to use them and using something just as simple as Floetrol. Now the reason I use satin enamel in this piece is because pigments tend to bleed uh, or create a sheen and they don't do this when you use satin enamel. So I wanted the white to stay pure. I didn't want a, a haze um, of color on it from the pigments. So that is why I use the satin enamel in this piece. But I thought it turned out really, really cool. The shimmer from these colors is just unbelievable. So, so pretty. That true silver, if you're looking for an amazing silver to use, it is just incredibly almost blinding sometimes um, very very great product but as you can see it dried beautifully um, got it varnished and uh, you can see the shimmer even after it's dry of the prism pour products now don't forget I'm a color art affiliate and if you'd like to order some of these products go to colorart.com and use my code BrickClayton322 to get 20% off your purchase. And I promise you will not be disappointed at all by these products. They are just amazing and I love them to death. Thank you guys so much for being here and joining us for our Perspectives in Pouring show. On behalf of Sheldon, Lance and I, we always appreciate you taking the time to spend with us on a Saturday afternoon. In the meantime, I am going to get back to work at the Fluid Art Boutique, um, helping wherever I can and hoping everyone has a wonderful time. You guys have a great weekend. We will see you next weekend with another Perspectives in Pouring.